Bonjour à tous, on se retrouve pour le 11 e épisode de notre Let's Play sur The Raven Legacy of Master Thief. Donc nous sommes au Caire, euh, voilà, après euh, quelques mésaventures hein, dans, le, dans la première partie du jeu, donc là on est dans la deuxième partie, on a réussi à, à se sortir des griffes du docteur Gebhardt, que, euh, que le commissaire Legrand euh, soupçonne d'être le corbeau, euh, ce qui n'est pas du tout euh, le cas de notre héros, le, The Constable euh, Zellner. Et donc là, on est à l'intérieur euh, du musée du, du Caire, et nous avons Miss Miller à qui nous allons parler. C'est parti, allons voir comment elle va et tout ça. Miss Miller, I'm glad to see you here. Oh, Constable Zellner. I heard what happened to you on board. Awful, truly awful. All's well that ends well. You are waiting for Professor Lucien? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, you'll be sailing down the Nile, if I heard correctly. That's right. I'm sure it will be an amazing experience. But you don't seem to be very excited. Oh, but I am. It's very generous of Lady Westmacott to invite me, and especially Maddie. He'll learn a lot. But? Well, Professor Lucien offered to join us. Then Matt will learn even more. And I'm sure it won't be unpleasant for you, either. No, I... I just don't know how Maddie would react if Edgar came with us. I understand. I could test the water to see how he'd feel about it. Would you do that? Oh, thank you, Constable Zellner. Were you able to find out why Professor Lucien left the forecastle so suddenly last night? No, not really. We only had a brief conversation. He was still very nervous. He was like that on the train as well. Seems to be typical of him. It must be something to do with the burglary at the museum. It really affected him. But he told me not to worry about anything. He said, soon this would all be over. Really? How did he mean that? Oh, I... I didn't ask him, Constable. Ouais, alors peut-être que effectivement l'archéologue est peut-être aussi dans le coup, hein. on ne sait jamais, de toute façon on ne peut pas écarter quoi que ce soit au niveau des pistes. Et on va continuer donc notre, notre questionnement de Miss Miller. Are there other passengers from the ship here? Oh yes, we arrived as a group. David Kreutzer, the violinist, was with us, so were Miss Myers and Mr. Inch. He seems to have gotten over the death of the Baroness pretty quickly. He seems positively relaxed. I've met him. He looks on the bright side of life, so to speak. Where is Mr. Kreutzer? He's over in the treasure chamber. Maddie is downstairs in the main hall. I'm afraid I'll hear the sound of something priceless shattering any second. Matt will be careful, Miss Miller. I'll continue my tour of the museum. Oh, yes, there's so much to see. I can't tell whether Miss Miller and Professor Lucien would be happy together. I hope so, though. Mm -hmm. Ok, alors, on a le choix, soit aller dans le hall principal, mais on va aller vers l'arrière, puisque c'est, euh, je crois, par là que nous avait dit euh, d'aller euh, le, le directeur du, du musée. Euh, voilà, pour à, approcher la salle du trésor. On a le violoniste, et bien on va déjà Mr. examiner. Mr. will provide the background music tonight at the opening. Does he have anything else on his agenda? Eh ben, on va lui demander. How are the acoustics, Mr. Kreutzer? Average. I wouldn't have expected anything else from a big stone cavern. How does it feel to have been accused of murder and to escape by the skin of your teeth? The whole thing could have had a bad ending for you. You didn't have an alibi. It was your gun. I must admit that I can imagine better ways to spend my time than being roughed up by Inspector Legrand. Your snooping actually paid off for me this time. Did you ever suspect me? Of murder? No. I think you're too intelligent to shoot someone with your own gun without arranging an alibi for the time of the crime. <laughs> It seems like a lot of the passengers from the ship are here this morning. Nearly all of them. I had a brief conversation with the Baroness's butler. Between you and I, 
He seems quite happy to be rid of the old battleship. Mr. Kreutzer. Young Miss Mayers was here as well. Unfortunately, it seems like she's already disappeared again. Forget it. She's engaged. And the old witch with her caretaker and her brat are also here. What do you have against Lady Westmacott? The lady is more callous than the Queen of the Night. She chased her own son away, ice cold. I met him briefly. Flew to America because he couldn't stand her anymore. Hmm. Did any of the guests behave suspiciously? Was anyone unusually interested in the treasure chamber or the security system? I couldn't say. I'm here to check the acoustics and then I'll come back for the gala tonight. I'm not interested in your detective games. Bien sûr. The newspaper this morning is full of reports about the events on board. I've seen them. Someone must have informed the press directly from the ship. He probably got a pile of money for the story, don't you think? And again, they want to ruin my reputation. But no, Constable, it wasn't me. I didn't even consider it. And whoever did it was a bungler. Why? The story is in all the papers. You get more money if you sell the dirt to just one paper, as an exclusive. Who do you think it was? Hmm. The young guy? The stowaway? The captain didn't press charges and let him go this morning. But up until then, he was in the cell the whole time. Perhaps Miss Mayers. Maybe she wants to become an actress and needs a bit of publicity. Whoever it was, they wanted to make sure that the story spread and they weren't after money. So, what were they after? Well, I'm looking forward to the concert. It will be an unforgettable night. Oui, alors. Alors, est-ce que ça va être une nuit inoubliable Je ne sais pas. Mais en tout cas, euh, j'ai l'impression qu'il va encore se passer des choses. On va commencer par examiner un petit peu les alentours. Ancient Egyptian jewelry. I like that golden signet ring with a scarab made of jasper. In ancient Egypt, these beetles were regarded as symbols of fertility. Nowadays, we just call them dung beetles. I suppose the beetles don't really care. <laughs> Toujours la petite pointe d'humour. I can't read what it says, but the cover features a dashing picture of Legrand. It shows an energetic young man photographed from beneath, against the sky. That's the look of a man who can catch a thief and murderer in a single day. Ah, sarcastique en plus. Alors, tiens, on va regarder le garde well, déjà. Trained guards are usually the best security system, although they didn't manage to stop the Raven in London. The gala will be crawling with guards tonight. The local police might also send some reinforcements. Well-trained guards are usually the best security system, although they didn't make... Ok, on a fini ces questions. Le journal, on l'a vu. I don't believe that Legrand spoke to the press himself. He doesn't seem to like the attention. And he wouldn't falsely take credit for something he hadn't done. Bien. Tout ça a été fait. Kreutzer would be the perfect thief. He's fit, charming, he knows the right people. No wonder he was at the top of Legrand's list. On the other hand, the best thieves are people that no one would ever suspect. The uninteresting, the meek, the ones who are always overlooked. Ouais, mais avec ces banalités, je vais pas arriver à, à comprendre... Euh à comprendre grand chose, enfin en tout cas à, à déterminer quelque chose. Chamber where the eye of the Sphinx is due to be exhibited. The display case is already prepared. Allez, on va y aller dans la salle des trésors. S'il veut bien me laisser passer. No, sir. I'm from the Swiss police. I want to check the security arrangements. No one may enter the treasure chamber before the delivery has arrived. Hmm. Ok, bah si on peut pas y aller, euh, on va regarder autre chose. On va aller dans le vestibule. On va voir si on peut aller ailleurs. On va aller dans le hall principal. On 
on va certainement retrouver des gens par là. En tout cas, c'est bien, c'est chouette, hein, c'est bien, c'est bien dessiné tout ça. On va pas monter les marches puisqu'on vient de les descendre. On va examiner la vitrine là-bas. Voir un petit peu ce qui s'y cache. Alors c'est la reproduction. C'est une maquette qui représente quoi On va le savoir. Teb peut-être. Mm. Ah ah. These exhibits aren't originals, of course. They're reconstructed, based on old pictures. Nonetheless, it's impressive how they managed to build monuments like the pyramids with such simple tools. Une petite visite au musée, c'est sympa. Several daggers in a row. The shapes and patterns look timeless, elegant. What does it say here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The dagger on the left is a replica of the dagger from the tomb of Tutankhamen. It must have been incredibly precious during his lifetime because it's made of iron. Thousands of years before the Ice Age, meteorites were the only source of pure iron. So a star that fell from the sky, bringing a substance that's harder than anything they'd known before, would have been a dramatic event. No wonder they used it to forge a weapon for the godlike Pharaoh. Alors, ce qui est, ce qui est pas mal, c'est qu'il parle à haute voix, ça résonne et tout, euh, tout le monde doit l'entendre. Bon, je sais que c'est pour nous, mais... Ah, il y a Lady West Macott ici, bah fallait la voir, hein. Fallait voir que c'était elle, hein. Bon, on va aller voir. On va se rapprocher, doit être dans son fauteuil, c'est pour ça. Impressive, isn't it? Thousands of years old and still beautiful. That it is. They dug it out of the sand near Thebes over 50 years ago. I was there. Really? I met my husband there. He was an assistant on the dig and was ordered by the director of the excavation to take care of that writer. I financed many excavations in the following years, here in Egypt and in the Near East. I visited my husband, together with our son. It was the best time of my life. But a museum is no place for nostalgia. What can I do for you? You've had a long and successful life, Lady Westmacott. What's that supposed to mean, Mr. Zellner? That I should be ready to leave the stage? Because I'm not. Oh, I didn't want... I'm here because life is here, Constable. Or was. I have never lived as much as I have here. No fame, no money can buy that. I understand. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Constable Zellner. Such an outburst isn't fitting for a woman of my age. And an English woman at that. Let's talk about something else. Your son. You haven't said much about him. Or perhaps you did. Just not by name. You're an attentive listener, Mr. Zellner. I was wondering why you knew so much about Miss Miller's unhappy marriage. I stopped paying his bar tabs. Stopped paying reporters to hush things up. He got to know her and went with her to America to start a new life. You can change your name easily. But not who you really are. Ah, voilà, Matt. He has my eyes, doesn't he? The part two novel is for him, isn't it? If I couldn't provide Matthew with a good father, then at least I can provide him with a good start in life. When I was working on the ship, I felt like one of the detectives in your novels. You were lucky. It was an unusual murder. Most murders happen in the heat of the moment, or are committed by idiots. They're uninspired. But Gebhardt thought it through. He could have succeeded. Hmm. I don't know. He made too many mistakes. He couldn't have known that the Baroness, almost unconscious from the drugs, would lock her cabin door. But that was a risk. The plan was too complicated and sloppily executed. You certainly are a harsh critic, Mr. Zellner. 
He could have shot her on the side deck and thrown the weapon into the sea. With no witnesses, no one would have suspected him. How boring. Or if it had to be a complicated plan, then he should have worked more carefully. Should have thought of everything, had a plan B in place. Maybe he didn't have enough time. He had only a few hours to plan and commit the murder. Still, he should have covered his tracks more carefully. The audio tape, the bloody glove, none of that should have stayed in the medical center. Do you think that Dr. Gebhardt was the Raven? Was? Do you think he's dead? The letter sounded like he committed suicide. There's your answer. Does that sound like the Raven? Being unmasked? Taking the easy way out? My sentiments exactly. The Raven wouldn't commit murder, get caught, and then jump into the sea. You don't want everything to be over, do you? It's my chance to do something great. It can't be over yet. At least you solved the murder of the Baroness. You're a hero. That's not how the newspapers see it. Nor I. Something's missing. I can achieve more. Careful, Constable. He who flies too close to the sun... Is that the myth of Icarus? To be honest, no. The story is Greek, and was only written down a thousand years later. I was counting on the dramatic effect. Oh, worked well enough. Let's assume that the thief is still out there. Who is he? If all this were a novel, then it would be the one you least expect. Is that intended to be a confession, Lady Westmacott? What do we know about the new Raven? He's a man who would stop at nothing. Must it be a man? And how do we know that it's just one person? There could be several people collectively pretending to be the Raven. So, we don't know anything. That's not completely true. We know that he or she wants the Eye of the Sphinx, and will probably strike here, assuming he or she hasn't already gone. It may be the end of the story for me, Lady Westmacott. Inspector Legrand will arrive soon and send me to the hotel. I return tonight for the gala, hoping all the while that the Raven does dare to attempt a burglary. Tomorrow morning, I'll have to return to Switzerland. What an unsatisfactory ending that would be. It wouldn't be a triumphant ending, but it could be worse. At least you'd still be alive, Constable. C'est vrai que c'est déjà pas mal de s'en tirer vivant. Will you attend the gala tonight, Lady Westmacott? But of course. The antiquities, the delightful atmosphere. And who knows, perhaps there will be another spectacular burglary. And your cruise? The ship doesn't leave until tomorrow. And believe me, I'd cancel the cruise for this. As always, it was an entertaining and enlightening chat, Lady Westmacott. I'm going to miss our little chats, Constable Zellner. Goodbye. Ok, allez, on va parler à Matt. Ahoy, Matt. The statue is talking. The statue was talking? Yes. And what did it say? It said it was... That's a very bad word. I know. And an English one. Don't you think it's odd that an old Egyptian statue speaks English? Don't you think it's odd that a statue speaks at all? That would have been my next question. And, uh, is the statue talking to you right now? Do you think I'm nuts? No, of course not. I just thought you might have much better ears than me. Ears that can hear statues. Some cop you are, Mr. Zellner. This is a mystery and you're just making jokes. You're right. It's just... Don't you believe me? Hmm. We both agree that a stone statue without a mouth or vocal cords cannot speak, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. That means you heard something else. And we have to find out what or who it was. Roger. I'm almost a bit envious of you. 
Going up the Nile on a ship? It must be great. Yeah, I guess. You don't sound so keen. I think my mom wants the professor to come too. And you don't? You can't tell me. What if mom marries the professor and doesn't work with the lady anymore? We'd have to move to London and I'd have to go to a new school. You could tell your mother that it's not okay with you. She'd never do anything against your will, would she? Hmm, I guess you're right. If I'm stubborn enough, she'll definitely send the professor packing. Thanks! Ah, this we have to see. The eye is coming. Alors, le coffre va arriver avec le fameux oeil. Voilà, le voilà. Avec la police. This will all be over soon. Then I'll finally have time for you. I, uh, we wanted to head back to the hotel. Certainly. And tonight at the gala, I'll show you around the museum, okay? And have you made up your mind about the cruise? Well, well, I don't really know. Allez, Matt. I only see you on vacation, Mom. And now you want the professor to come too? So I'll see you even less? You're right. I'm sorry, Professor Lucian. I think it's best if you don't join us. But Mary... Professor? Are you coming? Maybe we can talk about this again tonight. C'était peut-être pas forcément la meilleure chose à conseiller à, à Matt. Hein. Ouais. Ok, nous on va essayer de peut-être aller voir. Euh, Est-ce qu'on va pouvoir avancer ce coup-ci dans la salle du trésor Oui. A great moment, Professor Lucien. Your key, please. Alors, on va savoir. Uh, yes. Well. Come on, Professor. But you have to realize that. Thank you. Okay, une clé. Finally. Voilà. But, but, uh, um, Professor, I. Uh, I wanted to give you this. C'est lui qui l'avait sur lui. Tiens donc. Oh, I well, after the burglary in London, I thought the eye might not be safe on its way to Egypt. So I secretly took it when I was supposed to place it in the safe in London. Oh, there you. I felt that I should leave the jewel to someone I trusted completely. Myself. But the jewel was safe. From London to here, no one had an opportunity to steal it. I beg your pardon, my dear colleague. But if that were true, I wouldn't have had it. Congratulations, Professor Lucien. You fooled everyone, it seems. The honor is yours. Ah, il a bien caché son jeu, le professeur Lucien. C'est assez intéressant. Alors, est-ce que c'est l'original The opening of the exhibition will be the highlight of the year, and you are my special guest. I will see what I can do. Zelna, will you have a look at the security precautions? We'll see each other tonight. Of course, but... Wait, Inspector. I'll join you. Well, here we are. The Inspector will answer the reporter's questions for the next few hours, and I... Well... I won't take up too much of your time. I'll take a look around and then go lie down so that I'm ready for tonight. 
Ok, bien. Alors, il va falloir qu'on s'assure de la sécurité. Donc, on va déjà examiner la vitrine. How is the display case protected? It's made of bulletproof glass that's several centimeters thick. You'd need heavy machinery to open it. But even the smallest disturbance of the display case will set off the alarm. Hmm, doesn't look half bad. A glass cutter wouldn't be much use. Is the display case anchored to the floor? Why do you ask? The Raven once stole a whole display case in St. Petersburg instead of just taking the jewels out of it. Such an attempt would fail here. The display case is bolted to the floor and weighs several hundred kilograms. Bon, ok. Alors, euh, on va examiner le sarcophage. On va examiner un petit peu tout ce qu'il y a autour. Many people picture a stone coffin when they hear the word sarcophagus, but this one is wooden. As usual, an ornamental representation of the deceased is painted on the outside in gold and other colors. Ok. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on peut regarder d'autre on va vérifier les autres vitrines. What's in the other display cases? Other valuable originals. The eyes of the Sphinx would have been the highlights of our exhibition. Now that we only have one left, it doesn't really outshine the other valuables anymore. This room is full of world-class treasures. Mm hmm. Bon, il me semble plus y avoir grand chose à vérifier. Bon, on a vérifié euh, au niveau de la sécurité euh, succinctement, hein, je dirais. Euh, ok, on peut plus rien faire. Je vais vérifier quand même s'il n'y a pas un indice. Ah, caméra de surveillance. Je l'avais pas vue celle-là. Tiens donc, il y en a une autre là. What's that? A camera? The latest model. It's called video surveillance. I've heard about that. The images are recorded and can be viewed again later. That's right. Images from all three cameras are recorded in the card room. Wow. As I've said, we've spared no effort and no expense. D'accord. Bon. Est-ce qu'on a d'autres choix Je ne crois pas. Donc on va sortir. Et on a des petites entrées supplémentaires dans notre journal. The metal gate descends. The same thing happens at the windows and the main entrance. The thief is trapped like a rat. As are we. Hmm. Next, I'll uh, show you our guard room, the heart of the whole security system. And after that, I'll have to excuse myself. Alert the guards. Then call the French embassy. Le Grand ah. needs to come. We're being locked out. Allez, cours, cours. Encore une bombe. Non, il va pas avoir le temps. Dommage. Hmm. Enfermé à l'extérieur. Here. Have a seat and try to calm down. Trach. Eh bien, je crois qu'on va s'arrêter là pour cet épisode parce que maintenant il va falloir euh, s'assurer euh, si ou si oui ou non euh, l'œil du sphinx a été euh, volé et ça ça sera pour le prochain épisode ça sera le douzième euh, 
Donc, euh, n'hésitez pas à, voilà, à, faire, à laisser vos commentaires hein, sur, ce, sur toutes les vidéos que j'ai postées sur ce Let's Play. Euh, bon, si vous avez euh, des petites idées, des indices ou quoi que ce soit, n'hésitez pas à en faire part. Euh, et puis, bah, on, on verra qui, euh, qui euh, trouvera euh, la solution et qui, euh, qui d'après vous, pourrait être éventuellement le corbeau. En tout cas, pour le moment... Eh ben, on ne sait pas trop, et euh, là, eh bien, la suite au prochain épisode. Allez, portez-vous bien, à bientôt, bye bye